I mean, that game was, uh, we told us it'd be close. You told us it might not be high scoring. Um, just your initial thoughts after a, a hard fought game. You know, I'm just proud of the football team and how they came play against the uh, defending champs. You know, they put up a great effort. You know, we didn't came here to get pat on the back by anybody. Uh, we came here to win the football game. So ultimately, at the end of the day, um, you want to win that game. And that's the only goal that you have when you go to play these games. Is there anything AJ can learn from that? So obviously, had that in the grips and just hit the turf and the ball bounced away. You know, it's not just AJ. You know, we talked about it um, throughout the week. It was part of the, the plays that you need to win the game. We talked about, you know, Patrick Mahomes potentially throwing you a few. And when he throws them up there in the air, you got to come down with him. And who knew it would end just like that? But it did. Um, if we come down with that one, that's the difference in the game. It's the difference in us sealing the victory. And we weren't able to get it. And they capitalized after those. Did somebody get in your ear, coach, or what did you see in order to challenge that play? You know, they stayed in, did a great job of, uh, of not showing it. Um, it was a great job of the ball being up in the air and us coming down with it, um, coming out at the end, and it was just too big of a play not to challenge. Um, and ultimately, I had to make the decision on my own right there, and I did. And I went for the challenge and tried to see what happened, see what New York says. It seemed you guys were getting great pressure with just a four-man rush today. Do you agree with that? And uh, how often did you even blitz? You know, we did a nice job of having some of our simulated pressure. Some of our guys coming from the back end. Um, some of our guys coming from the linebacker position. But our D-line really stepped up today getting a chance to get them out the pocket. Uh, getting a really good quarterback on the move. And I shouldn't call him good. A really great quarterback on the move um, in order to make him a little bit confused and in order to have to make the plays that he normally makes. Yeah, what was the blueprint, Coach? Because no other team this year has been able to slow them down like you did today. None of your business. <laughs> you know, I share that with the rest of the league. Watch it on the tape. <laughs> what uh, what started to work in the fourth quarter where the offense really started to find their rhythm? You know, the offense had had, had some success all day moving the football. Um, had the ability to run the football today, um, the ability to spread those guys out and throw some balls. Um, we didn't get as many explosives as we wanted to. Um, we didn't get the, the ultimate, the, the, as many points as we wanted to. But ultimately, at the end of the day, they fought tough. Uh, they played well. They stayed with it. They stayed resilient. Um, and ultimately, those guys won't be happy with their results. But it is what it is. We've got to find a way to win those games. Did you have to make any adjustments offensively to kind of get them going late in that second half? You know, you always got to make adjustments, you know, especially when you're playing really good football teams and you got to do some things differently. You know, the guys did a great job on offense of coming out, really getting us in a position to win that game and really getting us in a position to tie that game and send it to overtime. And unfortunately, we missed the kick. We missed the kick with our Pro Bowl kicker. Yeah, I was about to say, you know, death taxes and uh, cool kicking field goals this year guarantees a life. What do you what do you say uh, to a young man who's been automatic and, you know, had it right there for you? Absolutely nothing. You go hug him and tell him you love him. And exactly what I did and told him, you know, his day will come and it's going to come very shortly. What's your biggest takeaway in a game like this where you had a chance and most everybody uh, that are so-called experts out there, coach, had you guys losing big? You know, it's um, it's really a credit to the team. It's really a credit to the organization. Um, the biggest takeaway from it is that we can play with anybody and you can line them up and we got a chance to go out there and get after them. And these guys certainly can show that. And we've certainly been able to do it most of the year. We haven't been able to win these games that come down to the wire. And we got to find a way to win these games down the wire. We got to be more consistent with us running the football. And we got to be more consistent with the pass rush that we showed today. I know. my. I think my calculations had uh, eight games this year by a touchdown or less, Coach. Uh, because it was on the road, because it was against the defending champs, does this one hurt even more in a tough loss? No, they all hurt. You know, um, it is what it is. They all feel the same. They all are the same. Um, you got to go out and try to get wins. They're no different until you get to the playoffs. And ultimately, that's where we want to be at one point. I know you're not active on social media, but so many fans were very proud of the effort, proud of the way you guys competed today, but we're also, quote unquote, happy because of the draft position. I know you could care less about that because you want wins. What do, what do you say to that fan base who says, you know what, it was a, it was a good outcome today? You know, our fan base is very knowledgeable, um, and that's their job to cheer for those type of things, but our job is to go out and win football games. Um, you know, we really love those guys. We really love Atlanta. We love everything we stand for, and when that time comes, we'll, 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 uh, we'll address those accordingly. Does a performance like this, Coach, maybe indicate that you are closer than many people think, hanging toe-to-toe -to -toe with the defending champs? You know, I'm, I'm not really concerned what other people think. I'm more concerned with what I think, and I think we are close. I do think we have the talent. I think we have the people. And we got to fix some things. We got to do some things better in order to put ourselves in position to be in these meaningful games at the end of the season. And I know we can do it with the guys that we have in this room right now. So let's just go and figure out what's going to happen and be ready to deal and be ready to play Tampa Bay next week. I think it was a third and one, Coach Gurley ran for about a two-yard play. Did you think about calling a timeout there um, to save some clock? I can't really recall the play right now. Um, okay. Right now, I was in a situation where we was trying to bleed the clock and not give Patrick Mahomes another chance. I don't know what's exactly what you're talking about, but I know we had uh, intentions on using the clock when we wanted to use it, and it wasn't there. Uh, Grady uh, versus Chris Jones, two just, you know, warriors out there. Um, what do you think of that matchup, and who do you think had the better day? 
you know, I just love those guys. Um, we got to obviously look at the tapes who had the better day, but obviously Chris Jones was a factor, especially there at the end. Um, Grady's always going to be a factor for us and what he's able to bring to us and just what he does for us as a football team, as a man, as a character guy. Um, it is what it is, man. We'll go look at the tape and see what happened. But obviously Coach. Chris Jones won, Chris Jones won the day. You know, they got the win. We appreciate your time. Safe travels. We'll talk this week. We'll do, man. See you guys later.